Hey guys, welcome back to Puppelcraft and today's Puppelcraft episode 11. The first thing I do want to say though is that it's been two years and the first part of this video is still filmed in 2022. So uh, if you just bear with me with that, but uh, let's get on with the video quickly. Today is Christmas Eve where I am. So I'm gonna be making a Christmas tree in memoration to this brilliant Christmas. Okay folks, so I have completed the Christmas tree and that is just one part of our Christmas special. Yes guys, you'll have to tell me what you think of this Christmas tree. I, I do like this Christmas tree and it's very nice for kind of like the courtyard, as I said before. But with Christmas we also have these new chest textures for like the next few days, which is really cool. So we're back and it's been a few days. Last time I was recording, it was Christmas Eve. It's now what, January the, January the 3rd. I had to check there. But we're back here in my subscriber cellar, which we haven't seen since Publecraft episode 2 and Esk's SMP episode 7. Before that, it's my subscriber cellar. I'm sorry, I'm keeping you in the basement. That doesn't sound uh, suspicious at all. This is where I mark my milestones. Guys, we have hit 100 subscribers as of the 28th of December, 2022. I said a while back that my goal for the year was to get 100 subscribers, sub subscribers, and I've succeeded that just before the year ended, which I could not be happier. So I thank you guys so very much. Okay, so we're in our bamboo farm and we've opened up a new section because this part in here is now our super smelter, which also gets us some bamboo, which we can then stick in for our fuel. But that's not the only thing we've done because we have absolutely finished the landscaping of our little town that we're gonna be building. Here is the dock I was talking about and there's this sort of pier and there's gonna be jetties off, little wooden jetties. Then this is the main part of the town. It comes up here and there's gonna be a road leading off into this direction that loose back around there. Now the houses are going to be difficult because I'm not too educated in this style of building. But I'm going to give it a shot and we'll see what happens. Alright, so I've built two buildings over here in our town area. Kind of like our upper section here, our upper plateau. And I've added in some sort of fir trees. Well, they're not exactly fir trees. But their trees, never, nevertheless, I cannot speak English. Now, just where spots have been empty, I've kind of added in some of these. They could be pens, maybe. Now, after these two builds, I think the only thing left to do is to plan out this town. And a suggestion I've got about this pier is that I put a lighthouse on the end of it. I think that's a good idea. All right, so I've planned out our town. Now, all that's left to be doing is to be building it. So that's the main bit done. We still need to do a bit of detailing, but that's, that's that can be done, that can be done. Our main point here would be our lighthouse. I'm quite happy with this. And we've got a little dock. I'll give you a little tour, a little tour. A little dock down here goes down so you can get out of a boat and actually like climb up. So if I'm getting out my boat, right, and I want to get up here, I just can't. So that's why this is here, so you can go up. Fly, oh, if you can actually get up on the thing, and yeah, you're you're good. If you're like me, you you probably shouldn't come here. Then I made these sort of like little houses. There's oh sorry sorry, work in progress guys, work in progress. These are sort of for the local workers, the dock workers, or maybe some like sort of uh, maybe I'll have a storage shed in here. I haven't completely sorted it out just yet, but actually yeah, a storage shed would be really cool. Just sort of like a bit of a weird reference, but kind of like the thing they had in Star Wars. And then moving up here, we've got that circle thing I was talking about. Uh, of course, not detailed just yet. 
but uh, I kind of meant like I don't know if you play GTA San Andreas, but Grove Street. That's that's what I sort of mean. Do you do you get me? Do you follow? Tell me if you don't. Tell me if you do. I can understand if you don't, definitely. But yeah, that's that's what I'm going for here. And then we got a horse stable here. Wait, who's he? Oh, this is Donkey du Chateau. In Ireland, we like to call people donkeys. Uh, I think they call that in England as well. If you're if you're an idiot, you're a donkey, right? He's a donkey. The castle. He's been excommunicated from the castle. But yeah, my main thing when I look at this though is it's sort of it's looking a bit empty on the side. So I'd love to build out here. I've already got a little road leading to the castle, just to the entrance there. Um, that should be a good blueprint then for the rest of the town but where i want to start before that is up where this beacon is maybe moving the beacon somewhere getting the beacon a nice home and uh, building some maybe houses up here So we have finished this building. Now the roof's a bit different from the rest of them, so I might change that, but this is this is to be honest with you guys, I have built this building before and I thought it would suit our world, so I sort of put it in here. But uh, I kept the roof of course, and that's uh, more suited to this other section of my world. But um yeah, we might want to change the roof. First thing I need to do, and I've already started here, is to sort of fix up this area here. It's this fella over here, right? I don't know why he does it, but he thinks, all right, do you know what I'll do? I might just uh, pick up a grass block, okay? And then just dump it here. So just a few things I've done is this little storage shed here. I've jazzed up these two roads here beside Mr. Donkey. This is gonna be like a clove shop, or going to be, it is now, but it just happened. Greeny finished it, we might do that later. We might, we might not. Now this is probably my favorite build of this road because this is sort of like a wine press. So you, you take you take off your shoes first of all. Oh dear. All you gotta do. And then you have infinite wine. But yeah, comes back here and then we've got, this is where he picks all his grapes. And he's even got some little flowers to prune or something. I don't know. This, I think, ooh. This is gonna be like a tourist office maybe. You go out here and then we're gonna have benches here. I have made a bench already over here by this new building. I think this might gonna be like a little cafe downstairs. But I've even just gone in and made a path here. Um, I need to fill in these gaps so that I can do that. And one building that just had to either go or get renovated was this building here. It just looked so bad. I came back in this world because I haven't played it in two years and I'm faced with this. It's just, it's just not that good. So I, so I got this in. Here's what it looks like on the side. I am quite happy with this though. I, I think I have saved it. Then this here is another, it, it sort of looks like a smaller version of what we had just done there. But we've got two little market stalls as well. And we're gonna fill these out with sort of smaller houses like this as well. Because I look at this and initially when I made this, um, I thought it was gonna be like a castle. But I realize it's just more and more like a walled town. So I'm here under the castle, or not the castle, but the courtyard. There's the uh, Christmas tree that we built, even though it's not Christmas. And who do I find picking up some blocks? It's this one little guy. I'm going to call him Edward, right? Edward the end. Actually, that works perfectly. I just came up with that name now, but it actually does work perfectly. So what I'm going to do next is lower this pier over here so we can have ships here now i'm not gonna build the ships this episode but maybe after a bit of encouragement i might start building ships 
So we have got that in now and I, I'm quite happy because when I was building this, I sort of, I saw because I hadn't laid anything down yet, I just the gravel and it just sort of like, it, well, it was just a bigger pier. So, or not a pier, but like whatever this is. But yeah, I think the addition to our sort of main exports, let's say. So we export wood from the forest over there. We export bamboo from our bamboo farm. We export uh, hay from our local farms. And if you look carefully, we already have our first import. I'm not sure what they're... Let's see. They go on. Let's see what they're importing. Oh, screenshot. Oh, a bit of gold. <laughs> Always wanted a bit of gold. But I fixed this building here. So I think something we can do is fix this building here. I've already started by adding in some uh, windows, but uh, I, I think we could probably, if we drop these walls back one, then we can have some sort of cool design, like an etching. Anyway, you'll see what I mean in a minute when I do it. I think that looks better. I do think that looks better. And just the last thing we're going to do in this episode is build this little, it's going to be sort of like a warehouse or not a warehouse or maybe a factory, maybe a warehouse. I don't know. I inspired it off this building here in Wexford. Hopefully I can get something close to it. After about an hour, I've successfully grinded enough wheat to actually get this done. Oh, that's not my pickaxe. It might look a bit out of place, but I think it could be cool. Edward's chasing me, Edward's chasing me. And that's that building there done. It's not quite like it is in real life, as I showed you there, but I, I think it's kind of cool and I'll tell you why. So if you could just imagine that back here, this is sort of like an older town. This is coming out with like, I don't know, I don't want to get all the historical, but this is coming out in the 1700s here. And then we're entering the 18th century with a bit of an industry, which would be this place here. In terms of interior, we have sort of put in somewhat of an interior in. Uh, we've got our exports in here. We've got a load of barrels, a load of hay. And I just want to show you our upstairs because I think it's quite cool. Upstairs, we have this, which is our exports again. We're going to eventually put our all our bamboo in here, all our wood in here. So I'm like, oh no, where will I get my wood? Oh no, where will I get my bamboo? It's it's all over here, I don't have to worry. Then of course we can be like Batman and just fly out of here. Something else I've included is this fireplace here, which gets split into two chimneys and comes out here. And that's the kind of first uh, example of central heating in our world. And maybe in the next episode, a bit off camera, I can add in some chimneys over here just to make it look more like we are progressing in the ages. But folks, that is gonna wrap up our video just about. Thank you very much for watching. It's been quite a while to make this quite literally because I have literally spent not exactly two years, but I give over a year on this video. I have sort of changed my channel as well, so I'm not Esk the Irish Lad anymore, I'm Escaper, but I'm gonna make a video addressing that and addressing sort of the changes that are going to happen in this uh, channel because I have realized that my old videos are crap. So hopefully after this, as long as this doesn't get a good reception, I will start a new series. But that will all be addressed in the video I'm gonna post out soon. But for now, I'm just gonna say, thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe if you're not, and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.